Hello and welcome to the second video of the C++ series where we learn about C++. Last video we learned how to make an object and how to access it plus how to use the accessor and the mutator functions we wrote. Today we will modify the classes we made. For that we will create a new class and call it character. So how about we start with that. So you can see I create a new project called it CPP tutorial 2 and copy the sources over. Let's create the new class called <coughs> character. And done, that class is created. So we will make this class a base class or what is also called an abstract class. This class has to contain at least one pure virtual function, which I will touch on later, to make this a pure virtual class, which we will make. So uh, let's let's go with the uh, declaration of this class and uh, create the character class. So we have a constructor. We have constant health, constant damage, and const string name. Put this over. Oh, it's gone. Oh, oh well. Include string, we include IO stream, and we use the namespace standard. Okay, so what we will also do, we will create a virtual deconstructor. That means that when this class is being inherited by somebody, that one of the constructors has to be called and this is the last one to be called. So we do uh, the character name, the health and the damage. Okay, so string character name. We will do void character name. And then we do and character health and the void character health. And then we do the damage in character damage and void character damage. Okay, so <clears throat> now what we do is we create two virtual classes. One class to make this class a pure virtual class. One function to make this a pure virtual class. So we do virtual load movement speed const equals zero. This function basically is a pure virtual class which we cannot de define in this class. But for every class inheriting character class needs to be defined in. So if we need to define a function in this class we will do virtual void print character. So <clears throat> let's go here. Let's copy these first because actually no, we have to declare some private variables first. So we do int character health int underscore character damage and string character name. We make this private. Okay, so let's copy this. Now that we have the header declared, put this in here and we do character health and health, character damage and damage to initialize the variables, character name as a name. Uh, where my mouse go? There it is. Um, okay, so character, so the virtual deconstructor can be empty in our case. And then we declare the other functions. So we do string, character, character damage, const. Actually, that's an integer, not a string. And then we return this. 
character damage, and then we set the character damage. Void character, character damage constant damage, and we do this character damage equals damage. Then we do <clears throat> the same for health and for the name. Void character character health uh, no that's void we do constant health health and we do we do this above so we have consistency and To help. Void character help, constant help. I don't see the issue with that. <clears throat> then we do int character character name. Oh, that's a string now. This to have better readability. Return this character name. Okay, so that is the character class for now. Let's see if this builds. Nope. Undefined reference to vtable character. Let's see why. Always save files before build. Oh, yeah, print character is not defined. That makes sense. Um, <clears throat> character, yes. So, void character, print character. Is that actually a const? Yes, so we can modify any values. Am I using it? Yes. <clears throat> Name is. Character name and then the health is character health damages. <clears throat> so now we have created the function of the class character which is now a virtual class which we can use as inherit to, uh, as an object to inherit in other classes so what we do we go to enemy.h and we get rid of this and we get rid of this except for this one constructor we will just modify this later what we do is we include character so we do end at health do damage and we do string name press on the icon here and we remove everything in this class and this file as well so now we're back here and to inherit the character we make we create a colon after the class definition and call public character so this means we have access to all the public functions in character and whatever has a const e uh, has an equal zero a virtual function name equal zero like this we need to implement in here this means we will have to do float movement speed uh, const and then we need to define this in here. 
get rid of this and before we do anything the we assign a variable for the movement speed and we call it float flying speed because why not the enemy can fly so now we need to call the constructor of character to define the initial values for in for the health damage and the name <clears throat> for this we just do colon character health damage and name next we actually create the movement speed uh, what do we make the movement speed as um yeah we just oh yeah return this dot flying flying speed i just have brain fart uh we do the flying speed equals 2.5 because flying why not you can fly faster since this was the virtual <coughs> function we have to make this virtual in the enemy as well to not get any issues with the compiler so now we do the same with the player basically remove this move all of this public character which we still have to include character tag <coughs> damage string health uh, we do float. <clears throat> what do we do? We do we run. We are the the player has a running speed, and we do virtual float uh, movement speed. We'll get rid of all the stuff here. All that damage and then string health. Get rid of this. This. Running speed equals two, and we call the character constructor health damage and oh, I see an issue of that. It's the name, not health, in here. Then we implement the movement speed. Return this running speed so let's see for now this it won't build because we have all the stuff in the main <clears throat> we remove everything except for the return zero we remove everything let's see what happens if it builds or if there's any issues health yep uh not damage name that's right okay so far it builds nothing is gonna happen um now we created a a virtual class which we are inheriting an enemy and player as you can see now this is done so we do not need to declare all the functions over and over again in these two classes but it's defined once and then we can just set the values in those classes when we create an object of this next we do we will uh, play a little bit with pointers and references just to access and print out some uh, data we are, we are giving these classes later. So for that we create a new class and for that this class we call print virtual <clears throat> done. So we have uh, the print virtual and this get, uh, class gets two functions void virtual via refer uh, pointer const character const we need to include character and then we create a function called void virtual oh, oh, virutal virtual via reference const character and then the reference which is an ampersand sign in C++ so the uh, constructor stays empty we don't need that so what we do is we do void print virtual virtual via pointer character 
and call this character and then we do void print virtual which by reference cons character character why is this complaining it shouldn't be anyway <clears throat> what we do is since we still have the function of print character here which is a virtual function right we just go into print virtual and we call character why is that complaining it shouldn't be complaining oh yeah cons character there we go that's it <coughs> print character also we want to know the movement speed since we are not printing that out right now so we do std colon colon code movement oh that sounded wrong by the way movement speed the plus is uh, from java i'm writing java a lot at work so character movement speed and the and the line and we we do two lines and then we add two lines so here as you can see we access a reference with a dot instead of a pointing arrow <coughs> and then we print out the movement speed here as well however we again access the movement uh, the, the reference with a dot instead of the pointer let's see if this builds perfect so i will talk about references and pointers later and how they're initialized and how they're being used and i can't see anything right now because the sun is shining into my face so we include a new header called vector which comes with the c libraries and we include the print virtual class <coughs> so in the main function we create a new print virtual object uh, we just call it virt and then we create a new enemy enemy e1 and we give it 10 health 5 damage and the name is e1 we do an enemy e2 which has 10 health again 5 damage and is called e2 <clears throat> and we do the same for e3 so now we have three enemies we will create three players player p1 which has 50 health 8 damage and his name is sap and i'm doing something which you're not supposed to do i'm copying code so I'm calling P2 and P3. I cannot stress enough that you're not supposed to copy code ever because that just breaks in things. So that has 10 and that 12 and that's not sap. Call this is George. And player three is called Orville. George Orville, huh? See what I did there? Ha, 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 I know, not funny. Anyway, <clears throat> let's create a new vector right what does vector define it is do we see this no documentation available oh come on okay anyway we create a character pointer on the vector so that means anything inside that vector is a character and we call it players and we create three of them so now we have a vector with three items of the type character pointer so we do the same with enemies. And there we do. Now next what we do is we have to assign the players to the vector. So what we do is players zero equals reference P1. Then we do players one equals P2. and then we reference p3 we do the same for the enemies enemies 0 equals reference e1 
reference e2, enemies equals reference e3. Okay, so now we have three players and three enemies. Now we want to print out the information of each player and each enemy. So we created two functions for that before. We will loop through the vectors and print out each item in each loop. So for size t, i equals zero. We do i smaller players dot size and then i plus plus. So we start counting at zero, go through each player and after every time we have done a player, we increment, increment the counter by one until we reach the players dot size. So what we do is we created the print virtual here and what we do is for the players uh, printing out by pointer, we do virt dot virtual by pointer <clears throat> players and then we do these brackets and this prints out every player by pointer. Now we do by reference for size t i equals zero, i smaller players dot size, <clears throat> then i plus plus again, same loop, no difference. The difference here now is we go virtual by reference and you can see since this is by reference we need to access the memory location. So we do point enemies i close bracket. So let's, uh, oh wrong button, let's build this. So if I run this you guys probably will not see anything unfortunately. Um, let's see what happens if I run it. Yeah I'm just getting something in here, there's nothing coming up which is sad, but oh well. I found a uh, issue I had in character health. I had a bracket in here. I returned the function itself instead of the actual value. So to fix that here, now we get all the players out. So, there it is, Seb George Orwell, E1, E2, E3. So now we have changed the main function to create a couple of objects and use class to print out by pointers and by reference. We used inheritance to print out a character. Oh, lovely outside, I love the noises in my neighborhood. So we inherit the character in the class enemy and we inherit the character in class player so we don't need to define all the functions for every single individual object. We just do it once here and that's it. Uh, I hope you liked the video, I hope you learned something. If you have any comments or requests please post it in the comments section. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to be interested and if you want you can support me on my Patreon campaign. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye.